Our skin is the frontier where our bodies end and the environment begins. Each of us has a unique skin. We differ in how we benefit from the sun and in how we respond to too much sun. how sun affects different kinds of skin, it helps to know what sunlight is. One of the best times to study the sun is when you can't see it during an eclipse. These columns of flames leap out from the sun, reaching up to 100,000 miles. The sun's energy is created in total darkness, deep within a giant nuclear furnace, which is more than 250,000 miles in diameter. Here, energy is released in the form of X-rays. As these X-rays travel toward the surface of the sun, they are constantly being deflected. Their wavelength increases, and gradually many turn into invisible ultraviolet or UV rays. The visible light, which is composed of the colors of the rainbow, and invisible infrared rays, which produce the warmth we feel from the sun. The X-ray zigzag journey from the center of the sun to its outer edge takes 20,000 years. Yet, once free of the sun, the newly formed sunlight makes the 93 million mile trip to Earth in only eight minutes. As the sun's rays pass through the Earth's atmosphere, the shorter ultraviolet wavelengths are filtered out. These rays are potentially dangerous to life. If the short UV rays were not blocked, the Earth would be devoid of life. These short rays can penetrate all living matter and cause severe damage to the cells. On the moon, there is no atmosphere to filter out short UV rays. The spacesuit does this job. On the Earth, we are protected by the ozone in our atmosphere, which scatters the short rays and prevents the very shortest of them from reaching us. The small amount of UV rays that does penetrate the ozone shield affects us every minute we spend out of doors. UV rays are responsible for burning and tanning. We have long known the importance of the sun in establishing the biological rhythms of plant and animal life. But probably the first photobiological response commented upon by man was that of tanning. Long ago, it was sensed that tanning was not simply a cosmetic process, but in fact was an important physiological process. It's surprising that it took thousands of years before man understood the causes of tanning and sunburning. People were astounded by the reports of the Arctic and Antarctic explorers, Perry and Shackleton, that they were experiencing severe sunburn even though the temperatures were well below freezing. At that time, many people held that it was the heat that produced the sunburn. That's not it at all, of course. It's the ultraviolet radiation in sunlight that produces sunburn.
everything you see is dead. With the exception of the eyes, practically everything you see on another individual, hair, nails, and the outermost or horny layer of the skin is already dead. The skin is a site for continuous birth and death. Cells which are born in a layer of the skin called the epidermis migrate toward the surface. As they reach the surface, the cells die and are eventually shed in the form of very small flakes. Under normal circumstances, cell multiplication below keeps pace with cell shedding from the outer layer so that the thickness of the skin is maintained. However, the skin is programmed so that exposure to ultraviolet rays increases cell division. The outer layer is built up quicker than it is shed. As it becomes thicker, it can better scatter and absorb UV rays. Have you ever wondered why you never burn or suntan on your palms or soles? Here, the outer layer is the thickest and blocks sunburn rays better than any other area of the body. Hair, which is of the same substance as the horny layer, also protects against UV rays, especially on the top of the scalp where it may be dark and thick. There is also another way our skin cells protect themselves. DNA, a chemical essential to all life, can be damaged by UV rays. We have recently discovered that when this occurs, most cells recover dramatically by replacing the damaged DNA. However, the skin's main defense against UV rays lies in the dark pigment known as melanin. This substance is produced...